right. Now you are dead. I was really disappointed I didn't get to have some kind of grotesque death, um, because that's the kind of thing that I, I'm a bit perverse about. Arya Stark, come with us. Your father wants to see you. And why is it that Lord Eddard is sending Lannister men in place of his own? The choreography of it was something I worked on before I met Maisie and went to Northern Ireland. And so I'd already worked with my master swordsman. And you will be speaking to me with more respect. So I worked with him and Maisie's stunt double, and I taught Maisie what I had been cooking up. And she is a dancer, I used to be a dancer, so our understanding of choreography was great for us because it allowed us to be able to not use our stunt doubles. So all the stuff you see in the first season between me and Maisie is all us, and we're very proud of that. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. It was fantastic. It all felt so luxurious, really. Go. I like the idea of him being a man of honour. He sacrificed himself for a girl that he barely knew, but grew to love. I mean, this goes back to the books. I mean, the character is beloved, and I imagine it's because he starts Arya's journey. The ambiguity of not, not having a traumatic experience of Arya seeing Sirio's death allows the echo of the character to kind of exist. It's not extinguished. And I think that's a really fantastic bit of storytelling. He's the one that got away, because you never really knew. <laughs>